Hi everyone, welcome back to Function Pilates. I'm Vanessa Kelly, and today I'm gonna to walk you through a beginner Cadillac workout or a beginner tower workout. So depending on which apparatus you have at home, um, go ahead and set yourself up on it and we will begin. Let's go ahead and begin in a seated position, feet connected to the poles, hands on the outside of the wooden dowel, and from here, we're gonna drop our chin to the chest, tuck that tailbone under, and roll ourselves all the way back, lying flat. Take a breath here and resist the springs as we peel ourselves up and away from the mat, returning nice and tall. Good, inhale there. Exhale, ribs connect, scoop the belly, tuck those imaginary tail feathers underneath, and roll yourself back. Deep breath, chin to chest, peeling yourself right back to the very top, nice and tall. Follow it at your own speed, relaxing those shoulders, and with long arms here, you're gonna press the bar towards your thighs and resist up. Exhale, pressing down, inhale back up. And slowly return back to the very top. Shoulders down, sitting tall. Super slow, resist those springs, Return as you lie flat on your back and pull that bar towards your chest, reaching those elbows in opposition. Exhale to pull, inhale to release. One more time. Chin to chest, connect the belly button towards your spine and return to the very top. Good. So we'll go ahead and take our right hand to the middle of the bar, left arm underneath, and we're gonna open up, engaging our obliques here resisting your way back up to the very top. Open out nice and wide. And exhale, return to top, shoulders down. Good. Open it up nice and wide. And pulse it. Super intentional, small pulses here. You got it. And breathe as you return back to the top. Switching sides, left hand in the very center. We're gonna open up nice and wide and exhale, return to the top. And open up nice and wide, shoulders down, legs are grounded. Good. Really shining your chest up towards the ceiling. And we're gonna finish it with our pulses here. Small intentional pulses, getting a little deeper with each repetition. Exhale, return yourself back up to the center and pause. Both hands in the center of the bar, tuck that tailbone, roll it back into orbit, circling around your belly button. Small intentional movements here. The smaller, the better, the more deliberate and isolated the work is gonna feel. Reverse when you're ready. Beautiful. And then return to the very top Taking the right hand to the center, we're gonna go ahead and roll yourself back into a crescent stretch. So left ankle over the right ankle, arm is behind you, shift your upper body to the right and look up at your elbow. So you're really enhancing the lateral stretch here on that left side. Find center. As you balance that bar, roll yourself back up to the very top. And let's repeat on the other side. Left hand on, right hand to the belly, chin to chest, tuck that tailbone, rolling yourself all the way back. Lay yourself down like a blanket, hand behind you, right ankle over left ankle, and looking up at your elbow. You may notice the difference that one side feels tighter than the other. And then reposition your feet back to the center and balance the bar as you return up. Good. So hands on the very outside of the bar, we're gonna bring the legs in through center. Left leg is bent. Turn that bar like a steering wheel, roll yourself back halfway, and then return to this top. So at a diagonal, you're tucking your tailbone, rolling over to the right, recentering your body, and returning up. Really think about that left foot stamping the floor, being grounded into the floor and then we'll switch sides. So now the right foot is grounded. Turn the wheel to the left, roll yourself back, return halfway and up to the top. Turn, tuck that tailbone under, 
Arms are long, shoulders down. One more time. Sweep it around to the left, recenter yourself and return. Very nice. So letting that bar go carefully, we're gonna turn ourselves around and lie flat on our back. We're gonna head into bridging. So in a hook line position, feet are flat. Grab that bar when you're ready. Deep breath here. Simultaneously, you're gonna take the exhale. As the hips lift up, the arms and the bar is coming towards your thighs, activating your lat muscles. So we are working the whole posterior chain of your body here, which include your back muscles, your glutes, and your hamstrings. So really feeling the work here as you stabilize through the pelvis. Think of the energy reaching out from your knees and intentionally pressing through the bottom of your foot, focusing on equal weight distribution. Beautiful, releasing. Exhale, hips lift, bring that bar towards your thighs and release everything together. On our next one here, bridge your hips, hold those hips up nice and high as you squeeze with the glutes, and just allow for the arms to float back and forward. Very nice. So we're getting extra attention through those lat muscles, through the back extensors. Good. As you're releasing the arms, you're gonna carefully release your hips and lower back down. Nice. So carefully let the bar go and then hold on to the outer poles here and we're gonna go into a twist. So elbows are flat, shoulder blades are down, inhaling that legs over to the right. Use your exhale to engage your abs and pull the legs through center. So focus on your legs being a unit. The knees are together, the ankles are together. And you're creating this heaviness. Inhale to the right. Exhale, resist the way up to the center, making sure that you are pausing and stopping through the center and not rolling from one side to the next. Bend those knees in for good stretch. Good, just massaging those hip sockets, roll those knees forward, roll them the opposite way. Very nice. From here, go ahead and come up to a tall position and we're gonna get ready for footwork. So I'm gonna detach the safety strap and we're going to wrap it around our push-through bar, which in my case, it's a metal bar. Yours might be wooden. And I'm gonna attach it to the second loop here and then get my red and blue spring from the very bottom and attach it to the eyelet so that we are bottom loaded which is about one and a half springs here. If this is too much resistance, you can always eliminate the blue spring. Then on our backs, we're gonna lie down flat, facing our foot bar, carefully pressing that bar up and placing our heels underneath. Parallel hip distance apart. Your ankles should be right over your knees, knees over your hips. Pull those toes towards you. And then as you inhale, Begin to soften your knees towards your chest. Exhale, pressing all the way up. So think about the work being developed here behind the glutes, behind the hamstrings. And as you are flexing your ankle, pulling your toes towards you, try to stabilize through your ankle so that we are really enforcing strengthening through the ankle and keeping those knees slightly apart so that it's tracking nicely with your hips. If you find your knees pulling in towards one another, don't go down as far. If you find your hips lifting up off the mat, again, don't come down as far. And then let's transition to the toes, staying parallel, hip distance apart. Bend those knees carefully towards your chest and then exhale, press and straighten out. So think of lengthening through the back of the knee reaching in opposition. So the energy is coming out from your toes and the hips are staying grounded and flat into the mat. Our arms are relaxed beside us, stretching long and creating space between our shoulder and our ears. Beautiful. 
Exhale, press up. Now let's bring the heels together in first position, toes apart. And as we bend our knees, the knees will be as wide as our shoulders and squeezing through those inner thighs to really activate and wrap those legs together. Focus on the abs pulling down towards the floor and listening to your breath here. Taking a long inhalation through the nose, allowing those ribs to expand. As you exhale, really knit those ribs together and letting that breath flow out from your mouth. Think of fogging up a mirror. Exhale, press. Inhale to bend and lengthen. Beautiful. Heels are going out really wide into a wide position. Turn those toes and knees out. Soften the knees. Exhale, extend long. You got it. Our goal is about 10 repetitions here for each of the foot variations. Again, focus on where you're feeling this muscle being activated. We do want the whole backside of the legs to be actively involved here. Try to relax the muscles in your neck and breathe. Finding your toes down in that very wide position, heels are lifted, pressing through equally into the palm of the ball of your foot, exercising each of your toes against the bar, challenging your heels to stay in that nice upright position. Again, if the weight is too strong, it's too heavy, eliminate the blue spring and just work with the red spring. Beautiful. Inhale to bend, exhale, pressing out. And then let's finish it with our calf raises and prances. So back to hip distance apart, toes are on, carefully press that bar away from you and pull the bar towards you. So it's very slow, very intentional, pushing that bar up and releasing. Exhale, press up, inhale to bring it towards you. Plantar flex as you exhale, dorsi flex as you inhale. Good, you should again feel this work in your ankles and right into prances, stopping in the very center, alternating from one leg to the next, and switch. Keeping those abs drawn down and in, and again, rooting your hips towards the mat here. Beautiful work. Carefully go ahead and bend the knees and release that foot bar and then go ahead and come on up. So we're gonna take away the springs, just gently place them on the floor, away from you. And then I'm going to detach the roll-up bar so that it's out of the way here. So if you're working on a Cadillac, you won't have to do this, but if you are on a tower unit, go ahead and um, take that off carefully and place it away from you so you have some extra space. And then we're gonna keep that red spring and attach it to the very top. We'll take away our safety strap and put that away. And then we're going to take our push through bar and prepare it to be top loaded. So we're gonna grab that red spring and attach it to the very outside eyelid here. And we're gonna lie on our back. So underneath that bar, go ahead and organize yourself so that you're holding onto the bar, wrists over the shoulders. With your knees bent, feet are flat, we're gonna go into small chest lifts. Inhale to prepare and exhale, just peeling your shoulder blades off the mat and then slowly release and relax it down. Exhale, scooping the belly, connecting those ribs and then release it. So be mindful that you're not really pushing with your arms, that you're actually lifting with your abs. And you'll notice this because you'll feel a shrug, a lift in your shoulders, and that's how you know that you're actually using your arms more than you're using your abdominal muscles. When you're ready, take it to tabletop. If you're ready for the next challenge, you can stay with your feet flat, and we're just repeating. Exhale to lift up halfway, just hovering those shoulder blades off the mat, keeping your legs together as a unit. Exhale, lift, and inhale down. 
be slow and intentional about it so that you can really listen to your body. Take a breather, windshield wipe those legs, stretch out your low back, and then when you're ready, let's return back to a tabletop position. Knees together, toes are pointed, exhale to curl up halfway and all the way to the top if you have it in you and slowly roll yourself back down. Chin to chest, exhale, roll it up half and to full range. Beautiful job here, guys. Taking your time, keeping your legs in a very energized position and lowering down. Exhale, chin to chest, lift halfway, extend your right leg, and then we're gonna switch the legs simultaneously. You got it. Exhale, switch, pelvis is quiet, and return. Lower back down, deep breath here, let's lift up, start with the left leg this time. And then we switch, and switch, and switch, and switch, beautiful. Return those legs down, and again, deep breath here, we'll come up and with together, we're gonna extend the legs out and then pull in. So think of dragging those knees in towards your chest. Out to 45 and drag in. Out and drag in and out and drag it in. Good, take another breather if you need to. So windshield wipe those legs. And then from here, keep your head down as you bring the legs to tabletop and slowly, as a unit, lower the legs down about halfway and then lift the knees back up. So we're not necessarily touching the mat, but I want you to create this heaviness in your legs, in your abdominal muscles, as you pick those legs up and lower down. Beautiful, nice and steady through the spine and lower the legs for me. Good. Release everything here and hold on to the outer poles. We're gonna go ahead and be an arm distance away from those poles as we place our feet into the loops, getting ready for our hip work. So heels together, toes apart, find your frog position. Exhale, push out to straight legs and then bend those knees back in again. Beautiful. So you're pushing against the resistance and you're pressing parallel to the floor here. So you're not necessarily at a 45 degree angle, but you're pushing in a 90 degree angle. So if it feels easy to you, lower your heels down. And if it feels easy to you, bring your body away from the poles behind you. If it's too hard, bring your body up towards the poles behind you. So you are able to manipulate the tension here with your setup, with your position. And from here, circle those legs around, finding equal weight into the straps circle them and bring them together. Take an exhale as you press into the resistance. Inhale, bring it back up. Beautiful, really lubricating through those joints and creating mobility through the hip socket. We're creating that extra resistance through the inner thighs, so squeeze those inner thighs together. And when you're ready, we can reverse that position. Beautiful, press down open out through those hip sockets, return those legs together. Press down and draw them back together. Again, feeling very energized through your legs. Feel the energy reaching from your toes. If you feel tense through your shoulders, turn your palms up. Nice. Keep breathing. Drop your right leg and then we're gonna scissor the legs here. So our goal is to have wide range of motion if we can, but if you feel like your pelvis or your hips are moving too much, go ahead and shorten the range of motion. Our goal again is to feel the muscles through our inner thighs and our hamstrings working. So you're gonna feel this heaviness here. You have it and then bring those knees in for a good stretch. Butterfly the legs here and just breathe. Great work here guys. When you're ready, carefully remove the loops out from your feet and set them off to the side. Good. We'll go ahead and come on up and we're going to shift into some arm work. So let's go ahead and take this push through bar and get it out of our way. 
and I'm going to move my long arm springs, which are the yellow springs, to the very top eyelet as I'm going to be standing on top of the, of the tower unit here. So line them up to your shoulders, whether you're standing on top of your mat or you are uh, performing this on the floor. And then grab a hold of your handles. So you're gonna place your hands in the handles, shift your weight forward to find resistance, and let's take it into hug a tree. So soft bend to the elbow as you bring those fingertips towards one another. Yes. Exhale, squeeze through the pectoral muscles. Ribs are closed, abs are in. The abs are what are helping you from bouncing back and forth here. And then let's take it into arm circles. So lift those arms, open wide to a T, lower down. Good. About five to six, six repetitions here, and then reverse it. Again, stabilizing your body. You're in control of the springs. Try to not allow the springs to control you. And then let's go ahead and take it right into serving the brownies. So bend at the elbows, exhale, reach those arms out in front of you. So we're working through the front of the shoulder. Now, if you move back, you'll decrease the resistance. If you take a step forward, you're gonna increase the resistance here. Exhale, reach, inhale to bend. Right into punching. So adding some rotation here as you punch out through each arm, rotate through the torso. Get the abs involved, get those obliques involved. Breathe. Good, shoulders down and in. Maintain a nice neutral position, we have it. Exhale, turn and twist, and through center. Let's take it into salute. So find those hands at your eyebrows and reach for the wall and the ceiling meet. We're initiating the movement from the back of the arm into those triceps. Beautiful. Stabilize through your body, avoiding momentum. And work through the back of the arm. We have it. Exhale, reach, inhale to bend. And lower those arms out to a T. Finish it with butterfly. So laterally flexing your body to the right. We're gonna rotate through the shoulders and then return back through center. So what's nice about this exercise is it's gonna feel like you're getting a stretch, but at the same time, we are strengthening through the shoulders here. So rotate gently. It's almost like you wanna imagine the springs crossing over one another. Trying to keep the hips squared and angling your shoulders towards the floor here. Good. And then let's go ahead and turn ourselves around to face our tower unit. Stand tall, right into chest expansion. So with long arms, pressing those palms behind our hips, we're gonna exhale. Again, find a good position with your body. The closer you are to the tower unit, the easier this will be. The further away you are, the more difficult and challenging the resistance will feel. Beautiful, exhale, press back. Exhale, long arms and press back. Good. From here, hinge from your hips, hold a nice flat position and pulse it up, pulse up. Work through those triceps, work through those glutes, strong with the hips here, breathe, breathe, perfect. And then finish it with a kick back here. Bend at the elbow and reach long, lengthening out through that muscle. You have it. We're almost there, guys. Feel those glutes fire up. Exhale. And exhale. Carefully stand up and right into a bicep curl. So maintain that position. And then we're going to squat ourselves back. Trust in the springs here. And then stand up straight. So power through your heels as you energize and stand up tall. Glutes are activated, abs are in. Up and explode. And down we hold and up. Good, we're gonna pause right there, adding little pulses up and down. You have it, breathe and up, beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and release those and we're going to step off carefully and take our push through bar back to the very top with our red spring. 
have a seat facing your push through bar with your feet connected to the poles. Take a dive forward, get a good stretch through those hamstrings. And with straight arms, you're gonna roll yourself back and press that bar up to the sky, chest pushing forward. Nice. With straight arms, the challenging part is to press through without having to bend your elbows. So pay attention to the work here as you facilitate the movement with your abs. Press forward. Tuck that tailbone under, chin to chest, press forward in between the poles and slowly returning back to the top here. Good. Coming back to center here, we're going to open up through that left side, really opening up from the, from the shoulder through the chest and return through center. Grab that bar and open out wide. Rotating through the spine, we'll try that one more time. So open out, shoulders down, bring it back up. Good, push that bar up, grab that left hand to the right pole, rotate, really rotating underneath your armpit here. And then let's do the other side. So lean back, right arm's gonna open up, widen your chest, and then reach over Grab that pole with your right hand, look under your shoulder and rotate a tad bit more. Beautiful. Let's transition into mermaid. So either crisscross your legs, zigzag the legs, or your feet actually can be stamped to the floor here. Laterally flex over and then grow tall. Push that bar up, lean into it. Go ahead and look at your hand if that feels good for you and slowly going right back into that lateral flexion. So we're shining our ribs up and getting a good stretch through the armpit. So if it feels good for you, let's add rotation here. So open up wide through those hands, shoulders down, and carefully take an inhale as you lift your chest up. Exhale, lower it down, beautiful. Nice and slow, lift that chest up, shoulders dragging down those back pockets. And then carefully reposition your hand as you float yourself right back up. Nice. Other side. Again, crisscross the legs, zigzag them, or feet are planted to the floor here. Take a nice stretch here as you inhale it over. Good, shine those ribs to the ceiling. Carefully press that bar up, lean into it. And just really enjoying the stretch here. Shoulders are down. Beautiful. On your next one, if it feels good for you to add that rotation, go ahead and add the rotation. Otherwise, just continue with, with our lateral flexion, our easy mermaid here. Adding extension as you lift the chest, taking your inhale, roll those shoulders down those back pockets, just slide them and exhale, fold forward. And again, and slowly fold it forward. Adjust your hands carefully. Let's pick up the hands, take a final stretch. If it feels good for you to push that bar up and lean into it, beautiful. And we're gonna go right into some back extension. So grab that bar, take it with you, do not let it go, and then widen your hands out and have it in between the outer poles. So that's your perfect lineup. Legs are separated, and with an inhale, lift that chest off the mat, and with an exhale, lower everything down. With an inhale, drag those shoulders down, really opening up the chest, and we're actively entertaining the entire backside of the body here. So you should feel your back extensors. You should feel your glutes, your hamstrings working. Squeeze your glutes a little bit more if you feel like your spine is being compressed. Make sure your legs are separated so that you're again, not decompressing the spine. Beautiful. And then hold it right there. Exhale it all the way out, good. So carefully, let's stabilize the pelvis as we lift and alternate one leg to the next. Again, lift and lift. 
and adding a little flutter kick. So lifting both legs off the mat and take it slow. Pulse it up. Beautiful. Stabilize the pelvis. You don't feel like one hip is lifting off more than the other and relax it down. Great job guys. So careful with the bar, release it and then take a child's pose if that feels good for your back. And then we'll finish it with our roll downs today. So standing up, hip distance apart. Let's sweep those arms up overhead. Take a dive down, fingertips to toes. Let your head and your neck relax and scoop the belly, restocking your spine up one at a time. Beautiful job. Thanks for joining me today, guys. If you did like the video, please hit that thumbs up button, make comments. And if you aren't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can check out some of the other videos here on it. We'll see you next time.